Another line of anthropic attack is to try and invoke the mediocrity principle. If we really live forever in increasingly decrepit states, then there will be far, far more years of you alive in that state than the relative youth that we all enjoy now. In fact, in the story of your existence, it would be incredibly unlikely that you'd happen to inhabit a moment during your, let's call it, normal age life, rather than these Strolberg years. I think that this does make for a compelling counter-argument, but it is the same kind of reasoning used by the Doomsday argument and the Boltzmann brain discussions, which can all be challenged on the issue of reference class. Perhaps your future state is very different from this current state, and thus, in fact, you do occupy a mediocre position of your current reference class, that is, being youthful. Despite our best efforts, these concerns can't deliver a knockout blow to quantum immortality, but if we revisit Lewis's argument, we can discover a questionable assumption that challenges the entire idea, an assumption about the way the universe works.